Hello, welcome to another Soul Print Pendulum Friday. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we've got some really good questions this week, so I'm just going to kind of get cracking on this. Thank you again for your, being here, for your support. I really appreciate it. Um, anybody who's looking for a private reading in the drop box below, you can reach out to me at soulprint888 at gmail.com. That address is in that box. Um, and just send me a quick message saying you're looking for reading information, and I will get it to you. Alrighty, let's get going here. Okay, so the first thing we're doing is we're we're revisiting um, a question that was asked last week that somehow it got completely mumbled up. So we're going to re-ask it. So here we go. Um, in Ohio, on November 7th, voters had the chance to enshrine abortion rights. Will that succeed? Okay, so anybody new, side to side, it's ready to talk and I'm protected. Back and forth is a yes, and round and round is a no. Okay, here we go. So, pendulum, on November, no, on November 7th, are Ohio, Ohio um, voters going to enshrine abortion rights? Yes. Hope that clarifies everything. Um, this is Canadian. Is the next money scandal for Doug Ford going to be the Ontario Place SPA fiasco? Wish I knew what SPA stood for, but let's just add the question. Um, is, is that going to be Doug Ford's next uh, money crisis or scandal? Yeah. Uh, I used to live in Ontario, so I just got, I just got, Nothing nice to say about Doug Ford, so I'm just going to move on. Um, all right, now we've got a whole whack of them. Here we go. Will Jim Jordan become Speaker of the House? Okay, right now that's a no. It's, I'm going to ask it again. Is Jim Jordan going to be elected Speaker of the House? Okay, and that's a no. Will Patrick McHenry become Speaker of the House? So what I understand um, as of Thursday afternoon when I'm recording this is that they're trying to do something to keep him in place as an interim speaker until the end of 2023. Well, I'm not sure if, if they can even do that, but let's just ask that question as opposed to speaker. Let's see if... Um, Patrick McHenry is going to end up becoming the interim speaker of the House for the remainder of 2023. Okay, that looks like a pretty strong yes. Um, I don't know what that means, and I don't have a clue who this guy is, um, and I have no idea what his politics are, so I guess that might be something we're going to have to investigate a little bit. Will Hakeem Jeffries ever become president of the United States? Okay, this is like, you could be looking, you know, many, many years into the future, but let's just see. Is it part of Hakeem Jeffries' soul print um, to become president of the United States? Is that sort of part of the plan? Okay, so as of right now, that's a no. Will some of Trump mega congressional insurrectionists or co-conspirators be indicted? Okay, that looks like a yes. So by now, you probably all know that um, Sidney Powell, Powell, Sidney Powell, um, has pleaded guilty. My understanding is that she got like six years um, probation. I, somebody said six months, but I, I remember thinking that when I heard it, it was like, holy crap, that's like a really long time to be on probation. Um, so it's going to be interesting. Now, um, I, you know, I'm just going to ask this because um, are there going to be more people um, of the 18 who have been indicted or 19 who are going to flip? Are there going to be additional two, three, four of them? Okay, so we can anticipate some more. 
um, people flipping or pleading guilty. And the way I understand it, on Monday, uh, the cheese, cheese bro, I think that's his name, um, his um, trial is, is meant to go forward. I'm just going to ask it this way. Is he likely to enter a guilty plea prior to that trial starting? Okay, so that's a no. So I guess he's going ahead. <clears throat> um, okay, going back to the, the conspirators being indicted, will more than a dozen be indicted? I Let's see. These are very broad questions. So no. You know, we've talked about this before, that we have to be really careful that we don't become so hyper-focused on everybody being punished. Um, because when we focus on that energy as opposed to, you know, getting the, the wrongs corrected and moving forward in a way that is strong, um, it just sort of lowers our vibration a little bit. So let's just keep that in mind. Um, will some of these, um, co-conspirators or, um, congressional insurrectionists, will they be indicted in less than two years? That looks like a yes. I got to tell you that what I'm hearing is, um, there's going to be some stuff going on in 2024 with regards to that. Part of it is going to um, not, it, it's one thing isn't contingent on the other, but once it feels like some of the Trump stuff is a little bit more settled, sorted out, um, it feels like that's when there may be additional um, charges coming out. <clears throat> um Will the in indictment of Republicans for involvement in the January 6th be one of the reasons that the Republican Party fails? No. In fact, that could be part of the reason that, they, you know, they're successful. Let's ask this way. Are the Republic is the Republican Party so far out of step with the wants of the American people that their party is likely to fail? And that's a yes. So even though there's a big role that they played in the whole January um, 6th thing, when it comes right down to it, it feels as if where they're going to run into trouble in elections, which is really where it counts, um, has to do more with things like, you know, gun rights and abortion and all the, the hot topic issues that really, really get Democrats motivated. Uh, will there be legislation passed to avert the Social Security Fund from going bankrupt? Legislation with regarding the Social Security Fund. Okay, I'm getting a yes on that. I'm uh, not quite sure kind of what, how that would un unfold, how that would be taken care of. But as of right now, I'm getting a yes. Uh, will the U.S. reinstate military draft in order to send troops to the Middle East? No. Does Joe Biden know how much many of us appreciate his sacrifice and service? He does. He does. All right. Will Trump escape his legal... Conundrums via hosting the Saudi Live LIV golf tournament and then not returning to the United States. No. So I'm interpreting that no as that he's he's not going to escape there. Um, does Trump have any kind of communication with Ivanka Melania or Barron? Well. He's still married to Melania. He must talk to her. Barron's his son. Must grunt at him once in a while. And now Ivanka, that's a different matter. Is Trump in 
consistent communication with Ivanka and Jared? Are those lines of communication still opened? That looks like a no. All right. Um, did Netanyahu initiate this conflict with Hamas to eventually return the Gaza Strip back into Israel? I am going to answer these questions just no. I, I don't like this energy. I'm not going to play around in it. Did, not, did Netanyahu actually instigate this? That's a no. Did Putin help Hamas attack Israel? Okay, so that's a yes. I want to re-ask that just another way. Did Putin give um, secret or sensitive material to... Um, bad actors with regards to what's going on in Israel right now. Okay, so that's a yes. I just don't want to drill down too carefully or too fine on that kind of stuff. Um, and and so he wants to know, the question is, and did he do that to take attention away from Ukraine? Well, so anything that takes attention away from Ukraine is a good thing as far as Putin is concerned. Um, so that, I'm sure, was one of his motivations. And yes, it was. Okay, did Gaza, did Israel bomb the Gaza hospital? Like Gaza, I think that has already been determined as a no. All right. Is the U.S. in danger of any terror attacks due to what's going on in Israel? That's a really broad question. Um, you know, are we talking lone wolf kind of attacks? Are we talking big scary attacks? Um, there isn't a way to answer that without you know, getting people upset. I think that it's reasonable to expect that the United States is either on high alert or on heightened alert um, because of what is going on in Israel, their stance, etc. But I'm leaving that question alone. Okay, is David Pakman, um, his YouTube channel, going to be closed down due to Fox News? So I went to find out what this was about. And apparently there was a big brouhaha because people thought that he was pro-Netanyahu, except he's not, and he never has been. And then like a dozen of them or so got very loud and they canceled their memberships. Well, apparently... I think he said it was a dozen or two dozen people canceled their membership. 400 people signed up and joined and got memberships. David Packman's going to be fine. I don't know what that did or didn't have to do with Pat, with Fox News, but as far as I'm concerned, as of like an hour ago when I checked it, he's going to be fine. Will we ever know if J.F. Kennedy's death was planned by a group within the U.S. Will we ever have the answer to that? <laughs> uh, pendulum stopped moving. Okay. Was Lee Harvey Oswald hired to kill Kennedy? Okay, I'm getting a small yes on that. Although there has been a lot of talk about um, I, I don't, I, not that. Was Lee Harvey Oswald, with the bullets fired from his gun, what ultimately hit and killed um, John F. Kennedy that day in Dallas? No. Okay. Are ETs using their technology to sabotage or stop nukes? here on earth i 
Okay, and we're not getting an answer on that. Listen, there are all kinds of energies that are working very, very hard to help light workers and like-minded people stabilize and balance the energy of this planet because, you know, we don't live in a vacuum. We're not an island in, a, in the galaxy, okay? Um, and when we start going wonky, other dimensions are impacted. Um, I think that there's a great deal of help. I think some of it is angelic. I think some of it is divine. Do I think that ETs could be a part of it? Probably. But I, I, I'm not going to drill down on that kind of a narrow question. Because, again, I think that the answer, they can say yes and they can say no, and we're still not getting any clarity on what that actually means. Will there ever be a worldwide fan of Okay, well, no. Um, if the damage of, um, sorry, if we don't course correct the, um, the climate crisis, is there going to be significant danger um, to the productivity of crops as we go forward? And that's a yes. Is there organized religion on the other side? No. So let me just take a couple of moments. That's the end of the questions. Thank you so much for them. Really interesting ones. Let me just take a moment. This is the easiest way that I have been able to um, understand the roles, if you will, that different belief structures on the earth, um, how that plays out, okay? Um, if you think about the divine as the center wheel, the center of a wheel, the spokes that go all the way around it, those are different religions, different philosophies, different ideas, etc. But no matter how they are constructed, we have to remember that all religion is man-made. It was created by man. You know, nobody came down from heaven, including Jesus, and said, this is the one and only religion. All of the masters that have come down are trying to get people, have been trying to get people to expand their knowledge and understanding and see things in a slightly different way, a broader way, a more inclusive and encompassing way. And for reasons that I don't exactly all understand, it, it somehow has become, over, over the course of time, this sort of, there's only one right way when we pass we move into pure divine energy there is not a correct religion and nor is there a specific religion and nor it, it i almost want to say what i'm hearing is they don't acknowledge it on the other side energy is energy divine energy is divine energy we merge with that um and, you know, in many ways, um, there's a great sadness, if you will, that religion has on this planet become one of those, you know, hot button topics that wars are fought over and people die over and families tear each other apart over. Um And that's unfortunate. Um, I can't speak to a lot of other religions because I'm, I'm not a scholar in any way, shape, or form about a multitude of religions. But you have to think about the fact that, you know, by and large, religions were sort of learned men who were reading something and interpreting it for people who couldn't read couldn't interpret. They simply absorbed and took their word for it. And 
that's where that's cool. you know problems come in as more and more people became educated more people could read more people etc over the course of you know 2000 years um in this experience um that's where you see people going, no, that doesn't make sense to me. You know, I have a, a closer relation one-on-one. -on -one. I don't need the, the ceremonies, etc. Some people find tremendous comfort in them, and I think that's fabulous. Some people find tremendous comfort in more of a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the divine, however they interpret it, and I think that is fantastic. Um, but every piece of information that I have ever received, and I have to channel a great deal of information from the other side with regards to um, a lot of things that we deal with here on the planet, I have never, ever um, heard, got wind of, or been told um, that there is a one right religion, and when we pass, there is no religion, because we have all merged with the divine, irregardless of what we um, practiced or didn't practice on this particular physical dimension. Okay. Um, thank you very, very much for being here. Um, it's a weekend, so take good care and enjoy. Quickly before I go, for those of you who have hung in this long, um, I recorded a really interesting video um, with somebody who resides in Georgia and, you know, kind of travels in circles where he seems to know a lot about what's going on in terms of Brian Kemp and politics and that kind of thing. It's fascinating. Um, that is going to be showing up one day next week. Um, so if you're really interested in that or any other videos that I put out, make sure that you hit the bell so that you are notified. All right, that's what I know for today. Be kind to yourself and someone else, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye for now.